Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. I know things have finally calmed down, it's going to be dark here shortly. I wanted to come and check on these little guys here. Why am I only counting ten piglets in there? How you doing, honey? Three, six. Now there's eleven. Yeah, just couldn't find that other one. That was a fat little pig right there, the one at the drinker. So, people have been asking what I'm going to do with this piggery. This is the building itself. Uh, I've been, I've had a lot of suggestions. Uh, use it for the chickens. Uh, just save it and wait for the pigs to come back. Uh, I've made up my mind what I'm going to do with a portion of it. And that portion is going to be either from this post going back that way or from this post going back that way. I haven't measured it out yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to knock uh, all these interior walls down. All the, all the stalls. I think I'm going to leave the the uh, waterers in place probably. I'm going to knock down all the interior walls, fill in these doors, uh, probably going to have to dig down a little bit more. <coughs> these these exterior walls aren't, well, they're strong enough to hold pigs in that don't really really want to get out but they're not really strong enough to hold the pressure of water. What I want, what I'm going to do, and it's probably going to take months and months because uh, it's going to be piecemeal and just a little bit of the, at a time and there's a great deal of research that I have to do. I have to educate myself a little bit and design this out and get it all figured out. Uh, before we do anything other than tear out the interior walls. I'm going to try to grow uh, shrimp. Uh, I'm, I may try to do fresh and salt water. Uh, freshwater prawns and uh, shrimp and seawater. Now, some of the things I'm trying to figure out is how to turn uh, regular water into salt water is 35, the maximum we would want is 25 uh, parts per ton, I think is how they, I don't know, there's a formula, that's one of the other things I've got to research and figure out how to do. <coughs> or do research and figure out how to get some uh, seawater trucked here. Now, <coughs> The gonna, they're going to be, what I've, here's what i got to work with. Uh, these rice holes are three feet deep. So, <laughs> you guys are awful happy. So digging these out uh, would give me about, and if I put water back in, about a foot up these walls, which is all that I think they will hold that they have the strength to hold. So I'd have a four foot deep uh, pen of water. And these pens are, uh, I think, interior to interior, they're uh, 16 feet, this, this piggery is 16 feet wide. And overall it's about 150 feet long. It, it's a, you know, it's a pretty big building. And the only reason I'm considering that is the roof is already here and the roof is sound. I uh, do need shade and do need uh, shelter from the rain. Uh, 
especially if we're doing salt water. I don't want the water diluted. So I've seen a few designs online and I have a, I have a broad conception in my mind of what I want to do. Uh, kind of a V-shaped uh, 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 tank with the lower part in the middle. So about where that center, center wall is, uh, it may be four and a half feet deep and uh, coming up at an angle so the the angle would be like this uh, not quite so deep on the right hand side and deep in the middle and the designs I've seen you, you make them v-shaped like that so that the waste uh, from the shrimp uh, goes to the center and you make a channel in that lowest part that's even deeper about you know like a six by six inch little channel like a like a gutter with like like a, a gutter and you can go through and uh, by putting a valve down at the other end you can just open that valve and the water is a, a dynamic of how it works the water goes down that channel and flushes it out so uh, a lot of their uh, waste uh, will go out that channel the filtration system, uh, some testing equipment, all that is expensive. Uh, this is going to be a slow process because the wallet is not full. So it's probably going to take us three or four months uh, to do this. But I definitely want to do it, uh, not only as an experiment, but as a possible means moving forward of repurposing this piggery into something that's profitable because the piggery has definitely not been. So I'm going to get the measuring tape out tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to begin this until this lady here weans her piglets which is going to be about another 10 days. Uh, we've got a boar there. We've got two little boars. We've got the, one of the old boars and a young boar there that need to be moved out. But there's no pigs on the other side and there's no pigs down here. And that's what we're going to do with the piggery, at least this, this portion of it. Uh, I would never, no matter what going forward, I'd never want the size of the piggery again that we had before. Right now we're going to stick, we've got 11 sows, so anybody who's really desperate to have one will sell one of them. Uh, I had wanted to have that number of 10, uh, just to have a few uh, personal consumption and just to have a few uh, to sell every now and then. Uh, and as a means that if the price of pork does come back and COVID and African swine flu does go away that we have uh, something to make a few dollars but this this setup here is just gonna all be taken down out of the center the outside walls redone I'll have to do plumbing uh, inside uh, there is electricity here so that's a good that's a plus uh, there's plenty of water and I just want to uh, do this as an experiment something small that's easily taken care of this is the that's that little red boar that we saved a long time ago and this is the old original boar here so that's what we're going to do and uh, I'm going to start I'm going to start knocking these walls down myself uh, maybe tomorrow depends on what the, the boss lady has planned for me but yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll get on this. So stay, stay tuned. It's gonna be a it's gonna be an interesting journey. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.